Now, a study by the University of Pretoria has revealed that hand sanitizers used by the public around Swane are substandard and also do not have the recommended alcohol content. Hand sanitizers are seen as part of the first line of defense against COVID-19 due to the alcohol content. To speak to us about this is Dr. Abdullah Mohamed Youssef, Senior Lecturer in Entomology at the University of Pretoria. Dr. Youssef, thank you very much for your time. Now, the findings of that study are very disturbing. Just take us through what was found pertaining the recommended alcohol content insofar as sanitizers are concerned. Good afternoon and good afternoon to viewers. So what uh, happened was that we did a study where we look at the alcohol contents of hand sanitizers found around. So the minimum required amount of alcohol, according to WHO, should be between 85 plus or minus 5%. So let's say between 75% up to 85%. And then there are local regulations that recommended 70%. So when we look at these sanitizers and pack them at 70%, we discovered that of the 50 products that we analyzed, only 21 met that 70% uh, mark. So it is more than 60% uh, uh, do, do not contain uh, enough alcohol for them to qualify as virucidal, that is to have an effect, impact on, on virus. Mm -hmm. And doctor, these are commercial products. It's the ones that we're purchasing at retail stores. Yeah, most of 41 of this 90 of these 50 products are commercial products. Mm -hmm. And then we understand yeah. that beyond that, they're also incorrectly labeled. It's not the fact that you went on to test, but they're incorrectly labeled. Can you just elaborate on this? Yeah, so what, uh, what is happening is that uh, there are recommendations locally as well as uh, according to the WHO, that each hand sanitizer product or the, the, the technical term hand drop must be labeled properly with the manufacturer and the contents of, of alcohol or whatever uh, uh, main constituent it has. So what we found out is that only 29 of those uh, products are labeled properly. Mm -hmm. Now, is so this ignorance on the part of the manufacturer or you would consider this to be fraudulent conduct well it could be both you remember when we went into lockdown shortly before we went into lockdown uh we you couldn't find all sanitary products off the shelves but suddenly when we came back out of lockdown or when lockdown was uh, uh, the levels were reduced you find products all over so it could be ignorance and it could be that because uh, nobody is uh, watching that they could do uh, do that because if you look at it, uh, if we take ethanol for instance, which is one of the main constituents, if you would lower it by 10%, that is like 10% more profit uh, if you are a manufacturer. So if nobody is looking, watching you, then, mm -hmm. yeah. How much of a danger, doctor, does this pose uh, in the wake of the pandemic and the new variant now, Omicron? Because I know initially there could be those listening to our conversation and say initially we were actually advised to wash our hands, even if it was not uh, the, the sanitizer with that requisite alcohol content. We were just advised to just purely wash your hands. So given this that you've established, how much of a risk does it pose? Well, as earlier I looked at the uh, uh, washing hands or hand hygiene, one of the uh, key frontline defenses against uh, against uh, COVID or other in infections. So the thing is that the virus itself has that envelope, so something like a surfactant which can uh, dilute or disband the, the lipid layer is recommended. So if you use soap and water, it's okay. But then with the hand sanitizers, they're as effective as what they contain and as the amount you put off your on your hands so if you are putting less that means that either they will not be able to break the envelope on the virus to kill it or uh, they will take longer than uh, than it is uh, expected for them to destroy the virus so you see that the virus will last long so this is a very very worrying trend in terms of public health and, uh, and safety Mm -hmm. Has this study now been shared with health regulatory bodies already and what has been their reaction to it? 
Uh, this uh, study was just published on, uh, on Monday last week by the South African Journal of Science. So as uh, researchers uh, from the university, you know, part of our mandate is to, to do community engagement and publish uh, findings of research which uh, we use taxpayers' money uh, mainly funded for. So what we, the route I took is to make it a sound science and then put it out there for, for, for the policymakers to see and take it up. Mm -hmm. No, Doctor, thank you very much for your time. That's Dr. Abdullah Ahmed Yusuf, Senior Lecturer in Entomology at the University of Pretoria.